Okay, so that's applying those settings to the DNG files we've edited. So I'm just going to minimize that. I'm just going to open up After Effects again. So now in After Effects, I'm just going to import the file again. So import file, and it remembers where I was before. It's in the original and the DNG folder. And I'm going to enter that original one again. And it will open up Camera Raw again, but we've already done the editing in that, so we don't need to do that uh, now. So that's done. So I'm just going to click on OK, because that's how we wanted it. Now, one thing to note is the frame rate it, it actually puts brings it in at 30 frames, does a default one, but we recorded at uh, 24, and that's important when you're doing the sound. So I'm just going to interpret the footage, redo that again. So you can see there, assume this frame rate. Well, I shot that at uh, 24, not 30, and that is important for the sound if you're going to put the sound in here. Having set the frame rate, I'm just going to drag this down now, make a composition from it. Um, having done that, I'm also now at this stage, I could do this in Premiere Pro, but I'm going to stick in the sound as well, just so we have the sound, just to show you the issue with the sound here on the frame rate as well. And um, if I go back into that folder where we had the original files, you might remember we extracted the sound from it as well. So I'm just going to drag that over, put that in as well, and I'm going to drag that down. And it should then, that will then be synced. Don't worry too much right at the end, there's slightly, there's a little, the sound runs a little bit longer than the actual video at the end. The main thing is it's synced at the beginning. If you've done that at 30 frames, the thing you'll notice, if you, if you forget to do this, change it to 24, you can't get the uh, sound to uh, sync on the uh, timeline. So just note to change that to 24 and it'll be sync no problem. So with that, I've got my sound now as well. So I'm just going to run a quick LP format and I'm recording the audio direct from that LP format and I'm recording the audio direct from that And that sounds okay, so that's synced, that's synced well. So that's it. So having done that now, I'm just going to export that in AVI format. If I just click on that, uh, you see AVI there. Because I've got sound, I'm just going to make sure I click the uh, audio output as well. So it actually outputs the sound track as well I've got for it. And I've got it saved there as an intro. I'm just going to put the render button. And you can see there it'll start rendering. And a lot of you have faster systems than mine, no doubt. Um, it's one and a half minutes raw. We've done our editing on it. Uh, it's going to take about 20, 25 minutes, you can see there. OK, so that's finished rendering. I've got, got my AVI file now. And the next stage is to import it into my editor, which will be, in this case, uh, Premiere Pro. So having imported it into Premiere Pro, I can do whatever um, editing I want on the clip, etc. And I can then just uh, export it to whatever format I want. And uh, that's it. That's working uh, with raw files. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that useful.